In this tutorial, you'll learn how to sign a document received from EasySign. In this tutorial, we'll assist Ms. Poulain to sign a document received via EasySign. You can see in your email box the message sent to you via EasySign. Click Consult and sign the document. And to initiate the signing process, click on Begin. You're now directed to the authentication page. There are several ways for you to confirm your identity in EasySign, which depends on how the sender has configured your profile. In this tutorial, we'll show you the two most frequently used methods. The first will be to receive the authentication code via SMS or text message. The second will be to receive the code by phone. For the first option, select Send Code by SMS and hit Send Code. A code will automatically be sent to the telephone number on file. You must enter this code where indicated and validate. Proceed to the consent page, which you'll have to read and accept before proceeding. Let's take a look at the second option to confirm your identity. Select Validation by Phone and hit Send Code. A four-digit code will appear on the computer screen and the phone on file will ring. When you answer, a message will ask you to enter the four-digit code on your phone. When done, you'll hear the following message. You have entered the correct code. Thank you. The consent page will open and once you've read and accepted the terms and conditions, you'll be able to proceed. You can now review the document and if everything's in order, you could sign as required. Enter the city from which you are signing and click Send. The system will ask you to confirm what you've entered, so click Yes. And next to sign, click on the block Sign Here. Once all the required signatures have been completed, the system will confirm that the process is now complete. Click on OK. Now you have the option to click here and download your document or sign out and end your session. Once the document is complete, you'll receive an email with two attached PDF documents. The first is the actual signed document. The second is a PDF of the evidence for the electronic signature. You can download both documents to keep on file. To view the signatures and verify their validity, you'll need to open the documents in Adobe Reader 10 or a more recent version. If you don't have the software, you could download it for free by clicking here. And now you know how to sign a document received from EasySign.